Hi, I'm Angela and presenting ScanNet, a large-scale 3D data set of richly annotated reconstructions. Recently, there's been a lot of progress in 2D image understanding, mainly fueled by the availability of big image data sets. But for 3D, we're limited by the size of existing data sets, which have only hundreds of labeled scans. We present ScanNet, providing an order of magnitude more of labeled 3D scans. With this data, we can start to feel 3D learning. To create this data set, we prevent, present a scalable framework for reconstructing and annotating 3D scans. First, users capture RGBD sequences with an iPad app. These sequences are then uploaded to the cloud, where we automatically reconstruct them to get 3D meshes. We then semantically annotate these 3D meshes with a crowdsourced task on Amazon Mechanical Turk. Here we can see our RGBD scanning framework. We have a depth view and a color view. And as the user begins scanning, you can see a feature bar on the bottom that indicates the featurefulness of the current view, which provides a rough measure of tracking robustness for novice users. When scanning is done, the user can upload the sequence to our servers, where we automatically reconstruct them to produce a 3D mesh. Here we can see our semantic annotation task on Amazon Mechanical Turk. A user paints over an over-segmentation of a mesh, grouping together segments in order to label object instances in 3D. So this way, we can efficiently annotate thousands of scans. We can also project the 3D annotations back into the original RGBD frames. That gives us millions of annotated images. With this scalable pipeline, we get more labeled objects than any other 3D data set. So what does this mean in practice? We developed several benchmark tasks to show the value of ScanNet for data-driven 3D understanding. For 3D object classification, we train the same classification network on both synthetic and real data. So let's take a look at the rightmost two columns where we test on real scan data. In the orange box, you can see that training on synthetic data only doesn't test well on real scan data. So in the yellow, we train on previous real data sets, which does better than synthetic, but still not that great. In the blue, we train on ScanNet, and here we can see the impact of the variety and scale of ScanNet data. We do not only much better on ScanNet tests, but we can also generalize to good performance on other real-world data sets. With ScanNet, we can also do new tasks, like semantic segmentation in 3D. We designed a simple 3D CNN to label voxels in a scene. All these models, code, and data are online. Hope you guys check it out.